Now. Okay, today, fellas, we're going to be talking about how to charge a breaker. Here we have switch gear. We have removed this piece of switch gear in the fourth position, moved it over to the fourth position, and was used to be in the third position, and we have added this piece of switch gear. So we can see here we have three Pringle switches. On this one here, we have a main breaker, which we did not have before. And then we have three additional three-phase breakers. Now this is a 480, four-wire system, although these are just uh, three-wire, three-phase breakers. So, here we have the main breaker. It's unfortunate a lot of people in this trade do not know how to close this breaker. You can tell if somebody come up here and close a breaker, the electrician will walk up to here, you'll see the close button, and he will push it. The lights will, this system is de-energized at this time, but the thing is this, if it was energized and we did have uh, power, this is actually runs on 24 volts. And all your overloads, everything is fed off to 24 volts. Uh, and they see that they have power here and they will be like, I don't understand, there's something wrong with the breaker. Well, you have to charge this breaker before this breaker will work. So what you do is you grab this handle and then everybody's just like, oh, there's something wrong with it. You cannot be afraid of this handle. You have to crank this thing. And it takes a little bit of effort here. And once it is charged, you'll see here right here, it says discharge. One is, once it is charged, the target will switch. And you keep cranking it until it says it is charged. Now, a charged breaker has stored energy. You never want to work on a breaker with stored energy because the springs can take your fingers off. So once the breaker is charged, you open this thing here, you push the button, and now that breaker is closed. This is still disenergized at this time. You never want to close a breaker in when you have a load on it. You can see every Pringle switch is in the off position. So all you're doing is energizing the bus at this time. And then you would proceed to close each individual Pringle switch, which you would take the load off out in the field. Um, so every time you want to close this breaker in, let's say you had to do some maintenance you open this breaker, every time you go to close it, you still have to charge the breaker manually before it will close again. So again, all you have to do is charge it, close it, and again, you never want to close a breaker like that under load. That is all for today. Be safe out there, fellas and ladies.